Of course, we will continue to follow this developing story tonight on 10 News at 11. In the meantime, when we're not on the air, head to WSLS.com for all of the details about the case, including the full 911 audio tapes, what police say led up to the abduction and the circumstances surrounding Kennedy's arrest. A new study by the Governor's Highway Safety Association shows that drug driving is becoming more common. Researchers say more drivers involved in deadly crashes are testing positive for drugs, including marijuana and opioids. However, it's not clear if those accidents were caused by the controlled substances. Let's take a look. In 2017, the Roanoke Valley DUI Task Force arrested 64 people for driving under the influence of drugs. Already in 2018, officers have arrested 28 people, and police say more work needs to be done to keep the roads safe. We need to get that education out there that if you are taking pills, if you are um, abusing marijuana or any other drug, that not to be driving. It's just as dangerous uh, as it is driving with, under the influence of alcohol. To learn more about the study, head to our website, WSLS.com. It's been years since students gathered for classes inside what was once an all African American high school in one local community. 10 News reporter Magdalene Lusant found out how it's now getting new life as a valuable resource for those who need it most. Okay. Walking through the hallways of Northside High School brings back memories for former student and teacher Henry Myers. To me, it was rather disciplined. Um, there were great times when the athletic team won, the band, of course. Northside High was an all African American school for students in Pennsylvania County until the late 60s when it integrated and became a middle school. It eventually closed in the early 2000s. Teachers made sure you obeyed and if they didn't, they told you about it in a very unquestionable way and they made sure your parents got the word also. Fast forward more than 40 years, a local pastor and his staff are putting the old building to good use, but they say not many neighbors know about it. We are here for everybody. It's not just the youth, but our main focus is the youth. Um, we're trying to give them somewhere to go for the summer so they're not out doing things that they shouldn't be doing. In every classroom, there's a computer lab, fully equipped gym, flea market, and a place to host tutoring programs. One of the greatest programs that we have because it helps them prepare for SOLs. It helps them keep their grades up. While there's still a lot of work to be done, organizers hope their community banquet this weekend will help shed more light on their efforts in keeping a key part of Gretna's history alive. This would be a, a part of this community henceforth and forevermore. In Gretna, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.